Hello, my name is Alessia Lane and I am a sales enablement engineer with Emerson's Reliability Solutions. This brief video will demonstrate how to use the new bulk transfer functionality in AMS Device Manager to configure devices accurately and efficiently. Traditionally, device configuration is done one device at a time either by connecting to devices with a handheld field communicator or via an online system like AMS Device Manager. After configuration, the validation process must be done manually to ensure proper configuration. This process is repeated for each and every device and requires a significant amount of time and labor. This process is also prone to errors as it relies on a human to type the values into the device. Bulk transfer in AMS Device Manager expedites the device configuration process. Simply create user configurations, which act as templates for device configuration, map these configurations to the desired devices, whether these are existing devices or new devices that will be connected at a later time, and transfer. By configuring devices in bulk and having them automatically validated using reports in AMS Device Manager, customers can reduce commissioning time by more than 80%. Now, let's look at exactly how this process works. User configurations can be defined in the Device Explorer view of AMS Device Manager. For this example, I will use an existing Rosemount 3051 pressure transmitter to create my user configuration. Simply drag and drop the device from the plant database to the desired user configuration folder and choose a name for your newly created user configuration. Now, right-click on the user configuration and select Configure for Bulk Transfer. This is where you will choose which parameters are applied to devices during bulk transfer. The green arrow indicates a field which will be mapped to the device. Now that we have defined a template, we will perform the device mapping in Microsoft Excel. This mapping can be done at any time, even before AMS Device Manager is installed, to provide flexibility during the project planning and execution stages. The mapping may be derived by exporting from applications like Integraph's Smart Plan or by exporting the devices from AMS Device Manager. For demo purposes, I am only showing two AMS tags used for bulk transfer, but the same process can be used for multiple tags and user configurations. You will notice the example mapping document for version 14 now has multiple fields including heart tag, descriptor, message, ranges, plant location, alert monitor group, and project name. These fields are helpful for performing additional tasks in bulk such as rearranging or assigning plant hierarchy and device priorities. The bulk transfer utility is also used to group devices and projects which can be tracked in AMS device view. After the mapping has been completed, return to AMS Device Manager and select the bulk transfer utility under Tools. Navigate to the mapping file you just created, select the appropriate worksheet, and verify the starting row. If you use the bulk transfer mapping example document included with the AMS Device Manager installation, the bulk transfer columns will be correctly mapped. If you are using a different mapping format, you should check to be sure the columns are matched appropriately. Click Begin to initiate the bulk transfer. In the bulk transfer utility, you can generate a mappings report to show user configuration, AMS tag, and device date. Or user configuration reports can be used to show more detailed reports and identify configuration parameters which don't match their expected mapping. You have now successfully learned how to create a user configuration, apply these templates during bulk transfer, and generate configuration reports for validation. Thank you for watching.